Hi, this is Rick Hansen on 10 to the Causes, the 37th practice in my book, Just One Thing. Uh, this practice, honestly, is one of my favorites, and it's rooted in a teaching story I once heard, which goes like this. Let's suppose that you want some fruit. Well, you can go to, let's say, a nursery, pick out a likely sapling, uh, put it in a good place, fertilize it well, pick the bugs off, take good care of it, water it, prune it, and so forth, but you cannot make it give you an apple. All you can do is tend to the causes, but you cannot, I cannot, no one can control the results. So this teaching has two big implications. The first is peaceful. The results in many ways are out of our hands. So many causes produce the results that do occur. On the other hand, the takeaway from this teaching is to focus on responsibility. We're on the hook for doing what we can for the causes that we can actually tend to. Two suggestions. First suggestion, uh, really supports your own global well-being. That's the fundamental cause of all causes, in a sense. Your own health, your own capacities, your own awakening, your own development, your own healing, uh, your own fundamental grounding and feeling peaceful, happy, and loving, let's say. That's a fundamental cause. And then the second suggestion is to think about a difficult relationship and the ways, naturally, perhaps, the mind wants to focus on the causes of the other person, how they ought to act better. Instead, see if you could focus for a while on the causes that you could actually tend to, because, of course, that those are the ones that are in your control. So, may you tend to the causes.